Hey, I'm reading The Outsiders by S.E. Hinton. We're poorer than the Sos and the middle class. I reckon we're wilder too. Not like the Sos, who jump greases and wreck houses and throw beer blasts for kicks, and get editorials in the paper for being a public disgrace one day and an asset to society the next. Greases are almost like hoods. We steal things and drive old souped up cars and hold up gas stations and have gang fights once in a while. I don't mean I do things like that. Darry would, Darry would kill me if I got into trouble with the police. Since mum and dad were killed in an auto wreck, the three of us get to stay together only as long as we behave. So Soda and I stay out of trouble as much as we can, and we're careful not to get caught when we can't. I only mean the most greasers do that, uh, do things like that, just like we wear our hair long and dress in blue jeans and t-shirts, or leave our shirt tails out and wear leather jackets and tennis shoes or boots. I'm not saying that either Sos or Greaser are better. That's just the way things are. I could have waited to go to the movies until Darry or Soda Pop got off work. They would have gone with me, or driven me there, or walked along, Although Soda just can't sit still long enough to enjoy a movie, and they bore Darry to death. Darry thinks his life is enough without inspecting other people's. Or I could have gotten one of the gang to come along, one of the four boys Darry and Soda and I have grown up with and consider family. We're almost as close as brothers. When you grow up in a tight-knit neighbourhood like ours, you get to know each other real well. If I had thought about it, I could have called Darry and he would have come by on his way home and picked me up. Or 2-Bit Matthews, sorry, or 2-Bit Matthews, one of our gang, would have come to get me in his car if I'd asked him. But sometimes I just don't use my head. It drives my brother Darry nuts when I do stuff like that because I'm supposed to be smart. I make good grades and I have a high IQ and everything, but I don't use my head. Besides, I like walking. I about decided I didn't like it so much though when I spotted the red Cuvair trailing me. I was almost two blocks from home then, so I started walking a little faster. I'd never been jumped, but I had seen Johnny, but I'd seen Johnny after four sos got hold of him, and it wasn't pretty. Johnny was scared of his own shadow after that. Johnny was 16 then. I knew it wasn't any use though, the fast walking, I mean, even before the Corvair pulled up beside me and five so's got out, I got pretty scared. I'm kind of small for 14, even though I have a good build, and those guys were bigger than me. I automatically hitched my thumbs in my jeans and slouch, wondering if I could get away if I just made a break for it. I remembered Johnny, his face all cut up and bruised. I remembered how he made, how he had cried when we found him, half conscious in the corner lot. Johnny had an awful rough at home. It took a lot to make him cry. I was sweating something fierce, although I was cold. I could feel my palms getting clammy and the perspiration running down my back. I get like that when I'm real scared. I glance around for a pot bottle or a stick or something. Steve Randall, Soda's best buddy, had once held off four guys with a busted pot bottle, but there was nothing. So I stood there like a bump on a log while they surrounded me. I don't use my head. They walked around slowly, silently smiling.